What is up YouTube? My house is a mess with packing for my next hunt, which is out in Colorado. There's gonna be a video with some information about that. Quiet kitties, quiet. <laughs> They're so loud. I just got a little bit of a morning fish in and I'm hungry and it's time to make some food. I'm gonna do it on the Orion cooker and I've been waiting for this moment because it's gonna be my first time trying chicken on the Orion cooker. I've cooked like nothing but red meat, as you guys have seen. Brookie. Stop it. So this will be my first chance giving it a go with some chicken, which I'm really excited about. I do like mixing up and eating chicken once in a while. So it's gonna be a good little change and we're gonna see how it tastes with that good smoky flavor. I have a feeling it's gonna be an 11 out of 10, but don't just trust like my feeling, right? We gotta go try it. Let's go. All right, guys, she's all lit. Easy to light even in the wind, luckily. So what's so cool about the Orion cooker is I have a lot of things to do while packing for my hunt. So I can let it be, let it cook for a little bit. This is my first time cooking chicken. So what's interesting about that is chicken has to be cooked all the way through, right? I'm used to cooking these things medium, medium rare. So it's probably gonna take a little longer. I'll keep an eye on the clock. I'll let you guys know the secret number. I have two big old chicken breasts in there. It's gonna be so tasty. It's a really windy day as you can see. Storms kind of moving in and out. This is the first day we've seen clouds in a long time, so I shouldn't complain. It's good if we get a little bit of moisture. Beautiful, beautiful day regardless of the wind. All right, so everything's cooking up. I'm gonna continue packing. Crazy how windy it gets here. Um, you definitely wanna cook your Orion, you definitely wanna put your Orion cooker either on one of the tables that they design or on like concrete surface. You don't wanna cook on like a patio, like a deck type thing. These were all things that I learned from the designer, the creator of Orion cooker. So uh, just keep that in mind. The sunglass tan is still going strong, unfortunately. It's not something I want, but it is something I get every single year. Poor old Brooke's gonna miss me. Brooke, you gonna miss me? You gonna miss me, Brooke? Look, Brookie loves a head scratch, huh, Brookie? Brookie, you love a head scratch, huh? You love the head scratch. You looking for more? Oh man, so I'm going to an over-the-counter, it's an over-the-counter elk hunt, so sadly I probably can't expect bulls as nice as some of these beauties, but you never know, right? It's the end of September, the rut is going to be in full force, it's going to be a grand old time, I am so excited. I want to know, are any of you guys hunting uh, elk? this September or even October, November. Any of you guys have any elk tags or are you getting any over-the-counter elk tags? Which weapon? Comment below and let me know. Hopefully the next video you see me cooking some elk, fresh elk backstraps on the Orion cooker. Just checking on it because of the crazy winds. Everything looks like it's going good. The charcoals are lit. They'll slow and steady do their work. Another cool thing about the Orion cooker that you might not think about at first, it smells so good. Like I can smell it around my whole property with these winds. Nothing like the smell of a good smoker cooking some chicken. Isn't that right, ladies? My good gals. One, two, three, four, five, six. Missing a black one. Must be inside laying some eggs. Ladies and gentlemen, we have hit the jackpot. Upon getting some cooking materials, oops, so that's the freezer. I've noticed we have a little leftover something, something very, very special in the fridge. Leftover pumpkin milkshake. Tis the season for pumpkin stuff. 
check it out in my little coffee container thing here. I actually love pumpkin and fall, <laughs> fall in general, but I feel like pumpkin and maple, they're kind of just like, um, yeah, just kind of like festive little fall stuff. And you can see not only do I have a leftover shake from yesterday, but I also have pumpkin coffee. Brookie, you cannot be the center of attention in every video, Brookie. Look at me. <laughs> Look at me, Brock. Look at her. She's embarrassed. It's a little more like milk rather than ice cream being left over and in the fridge. I probably should have put it in the freezer, huh? But it's still good. Look at this troublemaker today, Brookie. Brookie, you've been nothing but trouble today, Brooks. Hey, you know Brookie. Brookie. You know you're not allowed on the deer. Get down. Get down, Brookie. Get, Brookie. All right, Brookie, you need to get off. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry, baby. It's not for you. Okay? You don't go in here. You don't go in here. You neither, bear. All right, you guys, I checked on the chicken and it is ready to go. So I'm going over with the plate. Gonna put the chicken on the plate. We'll cut into it and give it a go. Sorry about the wind, guys. Really, really windy day. Look how the Orion cooker's looking though. Looking good. Burning through that charcoal. I'll show you guys the chicken in a minute. I'll scoop it right off. Okay, guys, I seriously wish you could smell these smells because I don't know why, but I really think the chicken on the Orion smells better than anything else I've ever made. And that's saying something, because everything smells good. Let's cut into it. All right, check it out, guys. So definitely fully cooked. It looks awesome. Gonna cut up a couple more pieces here and take a little bite and show you guys my reaction. Okay, have this piece to give a try. Mmm. Unreal. Oh, that is so good. Seriously better than any other chicken. Holy crap. Like crisp on the outside and juicy and tons of moisture on the inside. I'm gonna get these away from the cats. <laughs> I seriously do not know how Orion Cooker does it. Like, how does just throwing a chicken in the smoker, walking away, getting stuff done, how does it come out that good? I don't even know. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I wish so badly that I could take my Orion Cooker to Colorado for my elk hunt, but we're doing like this horseback in type thing. I don't think a horse would be very happy carrying that for me, but then also I wouldn't really have a super solid, safe place to cook it like way in the back country with all the fires that are going on right now out west you know what I mean I want to keep it super safe the Orion cooker is super safe to use even in high winds as you just saw me do it um it cooks a hundred percent by indirect heat so no carcinogens no oils no fatty additives it really is the healthiest way to cook your own food and now with coronavirus with more things being closed more people eating at home it's a great time to get one. You can always use my code right here at the link below in the description box to save $50 on Orion Cooker. Now, it is a really special thing that Orion Cooker did that for me. You cannot get that deal anywhere else. So using that code and getting your cooker supports me. You can get that cooker that I used today for under $200 with my code, which is a screaming deal because it's literally gonna last you a lifetime and you're gonna be able to cook really tasty, really healthy meals for your family for a long time. Totally worth the very affordable investment. Thank you so much for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.